Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, it's a bit of a quick inf informal video uh, today. Um, so excuse the sort of lighting and stuff. I know it's not super great quality, but um, yeah, I wanted to put this out because the All Japan Kendo Federation have put out some guidelines um, regarding basically um, kind of prevent, prevent of, of how to prevent the sort of uh, infection um, of obviously the, the, the COVID-19 virus um so that they can um return to kendo practice with other people um so um it, it's quite a long document i'm not going to read it word for word or or that sort of thing and um, there's a video that accompanies it as well um which talks about it um which i'll put a link to in the description it's in japanese i'm afraid but um i think with you know if i summarize this document you'll get an idea of what it is that they're um they're saying in it um, yeah, so before I jump into it, don't forget if you like uh, the channel, if you like the videos I put out and if they bring you any value whatsoever, don't forget to support us by shopping at kendostar.com. Okay, right. So the first part is mainly a, a sort of preamble um, talking about it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's super relevant to everything. Uh, the first few bits aren't necessarily relevant either. Now, what I will say, <clears throat> it's not that they're not relevant, but basically this document is for Kendall practice in Japan. All right, so uh, the part I just skipped over there. In Japan, where they've no longer, uh, where they've removed the state of emergency in every prefecture, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, they are planning to allow uh, practice with other people uh, from the 10th, of June. Okay, so not from today, but from the 10th of June. Um, <clears throat> and it's with that in mind. And this only refers to Kendo practice in Japan. So don't take this as advice for Kendo outside of Japan. Now, it might, though, give us some uh, kind of insight <clears throat> into uh, how things might start to return to practice in other countries, but that depends on our own individual um guidelines from our own associations all right um so the first couple of pages are just talking about that sort of thing about stuff at home um not at home sorry about like uh things about the the federations um and uh stuff about schools and stuff i want to cut straight to what's quite important not important but relevant so uh it, it let's start looking at it from here it says um about actually joining the keiko uh, the practice. So uh, the first thing it says is anyone with um, an underlying health problem or disease or, you know, um, condition um, should not participate in Keiko. OK, so don't do it if you are um, if you have an underlying um, condition. It says these sort of things are set out uh, in this sort of thing. <clears throat> COPD. I don't know what that is, but um, if you basically yeah, if you're in a, a high risk category then <clears throat> hold off for a bit longer um <clears throat> then also uh it says that if you are i mean it's all obvious stuff right if you don't feel well if you've got a temperature a cough um a headache that sort of thing um or even if you don't have um any symptoms sometimes that happens um you have to uh consider that don't go to practice if you are living with somebody that's sick um or if you come in from abroad from into japan from abroad uh in the last 14 days um and don't practice with anybody uh from outside of the federation or group that you normally practice with um and the last thing says they recommend to wear their mask um, when traveling between your house and the, the, the place you're going to do practice. Um, it says a little note here on uh, senior people, senior being elderly people um, doing Keiko. Um, it basically talks about how uh, there's a, a higher risk to elderly people um, catching the virus. They've got a higher death rate. Um, they mention here that the people over 60 have, uh, it says this is, um, 6%, whereas people under 30 is 0.2%. Uh, though it, it, it caveats that with saying that's data from China. Um, 
So anyway, it says that uh, if you're going to do the Keiko, if you're over 60, um, especially the younger people, um, then you have to use your judgment, okay? Um, probably they prefer, well, they prefer it uh, if you waited until July, um, at least before thinking about going back to practice. <clears throat> so the next section talks about what they should do before uh, before pr practice starts. Um, so it talks about taking the temperature. They should take the temperature, and if there's a temperature, of course, don't do practice. Even if you don't have a temperature, if you have a cough or headache, um, then don't do practice. Um, before practice, wash your hands. Uh, ugai is like a gargle. <clears throat> They've got a big thing about that in Japanese culture. They usually have a saying when you come home, you do tera ugai, which is when you wash your hands and you gargle with water uh, when you come in from outside. That's like a, a culturally standard practice across the board. Um, so it wants, <clears throat> of course, to do that. Uh, and it says um, use like an alcohol-based like hand sanitizer. <clears throat> this is before keiko is what they want you to do. Um, make a note of your details, um, I guess in case something happens to you. If possible, uh, get changed at home before going to the dojo. If you have to use the changing rooms, then try to avoid it if it's crowded or the situation where it will be crowded and uh, clean the floor uh, and disinfect the floor. So the next part is about um, actual doing keiko. Uh, the first part says about doing the um, uh, warming up, suburi, that sort of thing. Um, make a single line um, and everybody facing the same way. Um, don't have people facing each other. Um, if it's impossible and people have to face each other for whatever reason, um, or you need to make uh, more than one line, you need to make two lines, uh, make sure that they're at least two meters apart. Uh, and uh, like, you don't need to use as loud a voice, I guess is what it means there. So for the people actually doing kendo, um, keiko, sorry, uh, when you start, I guess it means like when you start doing the keiko, um, to avoid this, um, like spread of uh, infection by saliva um, that's sort of spat out. <laughs> um, these are the following things they're gonna do uh, or, or gonna advise uh, to prevent it. Um, first is a uh, um, mask. So to wear a men mask, they call it a men mask. Um, and we'll talk about what that is in a minute because there's an example and uh, what have you. Um, or basically uh, it's, the idea is, is it, it's a tenagree that goes on your face um, and it's it, it still leaves some space for breathing is the idea. Um, and uh, it does say here that the like medical mask um, is not appropriate because uh, it doesn't let you breathe well enough. So yeah, I'm not sure if there's a huge difference, but anyway, um, I'm not a scientist. So uh, it says uh, you can use, uh, it, we'll talk about the men mask thing more. It, it describes it and then there's a picture. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, it also says that uh, using a shield. So you've seen these plastic shield things that go inside the men. I've talked about them and told you why I haven't put them out for sale on Kendo Star because they haven't been proved or tested to this point um, as being effective. Um, and they're, they're, they're basically um, recommending people use these together with the other mask, okay, with the, ma the men mask, which is a tenagui over your face. Um, not alone, okay, not just those. Um, and if you're over 60, uh, then they really want you to use that as well as the, the mask, okay. Um, the shield um, is like a polycarbonate, a plastic um, thing, yeah, and it goes on the inside of the men gunny. Um, uh, but they haven't like specifically said you have to use it made from a specific material. Um, so I'm sure you could make one yourself quite easily. Um, and also, um, 
there's there's you could either have one that's two pieces that covers uh, your eyes and your no uh, your nose and mouth. It, it, they want it to cover both. Um, so you could either use one that covers the bottom part and the top part separately, or there's there's one that's like you know there's a the idea is you could have one that covers the entire face. Um, we they don't mind which. Um, and it's basically, I think it says up here uh, to prevent the, not just like, um, you know, uh, yeah. So it's, it's mainly to protect from spit from the other person. Um, it, it's not to protect you giving it out is what it says. Um, and they've, re they've, they've attached something about it. So we'll talk about that as well. Okay. Uh, so next it says... Um, now, using these sort of items really increases the chance of overheating, which is the biggest cause of death through kendo in Japan. Um, a handful of people die every year um, from overheating uh, in Japan. Um, so it's a, it's a real risk, actually, um, especially in, in the Japanese climate. Um, so with that in mind, they want us to practice for a short only a short time um and make sure bring uh drink plenty of water and as much as possible deal with the temperature in the room that you're practicing in so um a couple of things here um from the sort of test uh the the, the result of the test they've done the men mask um so let's let before I get into that, let's talk about what these things are. All right, we'll come back to this. All right, because it's a little bit there and back and forth. So this men mask that they're talking about is this. All right, so you take a ten degree, a normal ten degree, and you fold it in half this way. All right, and then what they've done is you can see on here they've made a string, and they've done that from actually cutting a piece of old ten degree and sewing it to the top, so that they can. I haven't done that in this example. Well, basically, it's to go. I hope you can still hear me in the microphone when I do this. But basically, it's it's to go over your nose that way and tie around something like this. Now, I've got quite a, a big nose, so it's <laughs> it's not super ideal, comfortable for me. But it's you know, I guess everybody's gonna have to deal with this differently. Um, and it's gonna go something like this, I guess. I guess <laughs> something like this. Now. Um, this is what they're saying is the men mask. This is what they definitely want everybody to use, right? Um, so it's very simple, very easy. Anyone can make this. Um, and the diagram here shows that um, the air can escape um, from the sides and from the bottom, all right? But the spit doesn't get launched forwards. Um, and then the shields that they're talking about, there's a, there's a, a single piece version uh, that's manufactured um, or you can use a double piece version like this. Uh, and they don't really care which one. And this is mainly to prevent you receiving the virus um, from the spit of the other person, assuming the other person's not doing this, I guess. Um, now, I, I, I don't know which way to take this. The first thing is, this doesn't seem too bad for me. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to sort of, you know, give my opinion too much, but... This doesn't seem too bad to me. It's not that, um, you know, I can breathe perfectly fine and I can understand how how it certainly affects the uh, effect, you know, the spit coming out. Um, what I am sort of a little bit more curious about is when I put a men on. Now, what they do want you to do is to wear this under the men. I don't see how that's that much different from a mask that's got like elastic on it, you know, like a, one of those paper masks. I don't know. Um... But well, basically, you're going to go like this. It's going to tie, obviously. It's going to tie up. I'm just doing this because I haven't done it yet. But they're supposed to have a string on it, and it ties onto your head, right? So you don't... I'm not doing it properly. And This would be looser than it, it would normally be. And then they want you to put the men on. Like that. I'm a himo in Like that. So when, when I do that then obviously it's closed off around here. So for me, I'm not sure what the difference is between doing that and using a, 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 a sort of one of those, not, not one of those like really uh, complicated masks, but you know those like flat ones with the ridges on, the paper ones with the elastic goes on here. I'm not sure what the difference is between doing that, but I'm no, I'm no expert in this, all right? But they say don't use that. So anyway, um, 
going back to this, um, they've done some tests and they've said that using the men mass, so using the the the, uh, <clears throat> the tenagree this way, um, it reduces the 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 spit from uh, shouting um, by around ninety percent, uh, and the video shows a graph of that as well. Um, I'm not like. I'm not, I'm trying not to be skeptical here because I'm, you know, I'm really positive about the idea of people getting back to Kendall, but we don't know what that is a 90% of. It just says in the graph, it says that if we count the spit that comes out as a hundred, then it, it drops down to 10 when you put this on, but we don't actually know like how many grams or mil or whatever you count it in of spit comes out when you don't use it. So I'm not sure exactly what it means, but it's cut by up to 90%, so that's a, that's a good thing, I guess. Um, and it says if you use the, the men mask, which is the uh, this thing on your face like this, and a shield, then uh, it could be cut by up to, uh, up to about 95%. So you only get an extra, an extra 5% from using the, the plastic thing. Um, Whereas if you only use the shield, then it's around 70%. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily say that here, but in the video, like I said, there's a link in the description. It says that that's not good enough. Okay, so it says don't just use the shield. Don't rely just on the shield. All right? The, the thing, from the sounds of it, it's this, putting this on your face and then putting your men on and doing cake. Or that's what you're getting the main protection from, from the sounds of this. All right? In terms of the, the spit that comes out. Um... So, yeah, uh, there is, um, you know, the, because of this, you, you can get up to, yeah, I mean, it says here, actually, that um, uh, it's around 70%. Um, but if you put it together, if you just use the plastic thing, the shield, uh, but if you put it together with the, the tenagree over your face, um, then that goes to 95%. Uh, so they really recommend that if you use the plastic guard, you use it together with the with the tenagree. Especially uh, older people, um, it's you know easier to catch uh, or suffer from the the virus. Um, so they really do think that using the the plastic guard is a good idea to protect you from the spit from the others. All right, so they're particularly recommending this plastic guard for people who are. Um, of a senior age, uh, I think I mentioned over 60 earlier. Um, the next important point here uh, is that it says that this is a temporary measure, okay? So it's only a temporary measure. This isn't something they're planning to change for good. Um, it's just something to deal with until the uh, situation with the coronavirus uh, is over. Um, okay, whenever that is, um, but it's not something that there. It, it's not something that I, ex, you know, we expect to see forever. Okay, so it's it, it's a short term solution. Um, then basically, uh, the other couple of things is that uh, I've highlighted the main points. If you if they're standing as muttled that you receiving cake, or they want you to uh, stand at least two meters apart. Um, and uh, if you're waiting, you know, like if you're lying, basically stay two meters away from each other. Um, also, uh, visitors um, shouldn't enter the door door, like just to come and watch. Uh, it mentions parents as well of like kids that if the, if the uh, room isn't large enough um, for them to keep a good distance, then they have to wait out. They should wait outside. Now, here's what's interesting. It talks about Super ZDI. Uh, so they, they want to reduce Super ZDI. Um, of course, like I said, this is temporary, right? So they're not looking to change Kendall. They're looking to deal with the situation in the whilst this is going on. Uh, so during, uh, during uh, practice, if Super ZDI inevitably happens, which, you know, if it unavoidably happens, um, then... Uh, either quickly separate or uh, quickly uh, make a kiwaza um, and don't uh, do the hase. So, um, you know, like don't stand into the ZDI and go, yeah, the other person. Um, 
then uh, the next says, uh, in order to reduce the risk um, of uh, spread of the virus, uh, they recommend practicing for no longer than an hour um, and maybe even uh, 30 minutes and uh, every 30 minutes take a five minute break. Um, try and open all the windows and uh, like fans, put the fans on. Um, obviously to prevent the overheating because uh, it's quite a risk I think actually um, and then uh, after Keiko it says um, when you finished uh, and you go to do the day and to, and ask for advice from the sensei or senpai uh, stay t keep a two meter distance um, the men mask so that's this thing once you finish take this off put it into a plastic bag uh, take her home and wash it um, with antibacterial detergent, I guess. It says, you know, uh, sanitize it. After Keiko as well for your uh, kendogu, especially your men and kote. And the, uh, if, you're using, if you are using the plastic guard, uh, you could use an alcohol spray to um, disinfect it. Uh, the kendogi hakama tenugi shinai, uh, you must take at home. And this isn't so relevant to most of us, but in Japan, people often leave them at the dojo. But take them home and wash them. Um, and also, the wash your hands, gargle, and wash your hands and sanitize your hands uh, after keiko as well as before it. Um, if you if it's found out that there's somebody that has a virus. Uh, in the dojo, uh, immediately tell uh, the person in charge. Finally, it says, uh, don't share your equipment, your bogu, your shinai, tenugui, stuff like that. Don't share it with other people. Um, if there's stuff that has to be shared, uh, things like an uchikomidai, you know, like a hitting dummy, uh, taiko, uh, taiko bati is, uh, sorry, taiko bati is, taiko no bati is a drumstick, drumstick. Um, the actual dojo or, taik, uh, or gymnasium, uh, the changing area, uh, the showers, um, the entry and exit, doorknobs, uh, the window lock things, anything you touch, um, then basically uh, use the disinfectant alcohol spray to clean them. Uh, don't mix with other teams or do dege or so don't go and practice at other dojos that you're not familiar with or aren't normally practicing at. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much this. This is about like adapting to this uh, like new way of life, which I guess is something that the Japanese government is sort of on board with. But basically, it's like if you go out for a meal and stuff, don't uh, you know everyone should have it. Like in Japan, it's often it, uh, popular for food to come out on a huge plate and everybody shares from the same plate. Uh, they want it to be separate. Um, separate plates uh, don't sit facing each other if you can and don't talk too much as i says <laughs> that sort of thing so um that's basically it like i say there's another video there's a video in the description that's from the zenken and the old japan kind of federation that, that goes through this um look here's my thoughts on it um it, it's a temporary measure all right because there's no way i don't think that we're going to be able to carry on doing kendo in the long term while with this over our face um i don't think you're going to be able to do extended difficult practice like this um i'm not sure what the difference is between wearing this and then putting the men on and then putting the men on and using one of those other masks but uh either way i don't think it matters you can easily make this at home um the shield thing i'm still not sold on these if i'm honest with you uh it says that it says that um they inc they they inc uh increase um the protection of spreading the spit by nine by by just five percent i don't know what that five percent represents um like i said because we don't actually have the original like the the the, the full data of this I'm, I'm not questioning that of course i'm just saying um I, i'm still not not so sure on them but if you know um if if this is what will help us get back to cake well then fine um i'm still not sure if i'm going to sell them on kendo star or not um now the Zen Kenan has put this out, I'll, I'll probably see how things go a little bit first um, with other countries, if other countries agree with this sort of um, uh, recommendations. 
Uh, I personally think the two piece version would be better than the single piece um, for lots of reasons, uh, mainly that I, I think it will be uh, less. I know you can like get non non cloud up stuff that put that they put on this stuff and i've seen those sort of things um but i don't imagine that would last that long um i don't i think it would it would have quite a big echo uh, and i think it would be much hotter than using two so if i was going to choose is i'd choose the two separate ones if i had to do that um it is a temporary measure so probably i'm you know there's also the the idea of just waiting out um, to be honest, so we don't have to worry about this. I'm not sure about the idea of, of wearing this and doing cake. I'd have to try it. I'm not able to try it at the moment, um, but I, I probably will uh, when we are able to, if that's some, the direction we go in. Uh, like I said, this is this is advice for Japan. Um, don't take this as advice for everywhere and uh, other places in the world. Listen to the advice in your country. If your country is, doesn't say that you have to necessarily cover your face while you're doing it, then I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't, but what I'm saying is, is follow. Don't, don't th this is intended for Japan, all right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, I think that's it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I really hope we can get back to the dojo soon, uh, even if it means uh, doing all this sort of stuff. Uh, I hope it doesn't go on for too much longer. Um, thanks for watching today. Don't forget to shop at Kendall Star and I'll see you all in the next video. All the best.